Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Lawless Keen, and this is your friend Wasim. And today we are going to see another interesting concept that is React Event Handling. And today we are going to see some examples on how to bind an event to a React application. And this is going to be an interesting chapter. And I hope you like this. And if you like this, please keep subscribing our channel. We are going to go ahead with lots and lots of new videos where we will be teaching you React in depth. So without wasting any time, let's go ahead and see our another application. The application which we previously wrote and let's create another file in our components. So if you are just following this channel, you might be aware that we are creating um, a separate file for each example, okay, for each concept. So let's go ahead and create another uh, file. So this would be like a uh, click event. So let's say that click event.js, something like this. And let's write a simple uh, you can just copy paste from a previous or as we are using latest ES6, I'll just write like constant, click event and we are doing nothing but just we are writing returning, oops, return h1, click event, okay and we need to export default click event let me just close that one so click event okay and in our app we will be just exporting click event we'll just remove this all the other ones which we are not requiring so each and every time whenever we are creating a file you will always remember that we how we create a component so there are multiple ways to create a component like we already saw two three um, ways in creating a component if you have not seen our previous videos i would like you to request that start from the beginning there are various core concepts that you might already know but you might be missing some nits and bits of it so i would definitely request you to go ahead with that so without wasting any time so let's go ahead and see yes in the output we have our click event and let's see what is happening over here let's create our first button a simple HTML button okay and that's a button let me quickly index.css let in the body let me add some margin or basically padding 20 pixel and let me just align everything to center okay the button is in between if you're not able to see this Yes, we can see this. So here we go. What is events? Okay, what? How do we handle the events? Basically, the there are two thumb rules in creating any kind of event in React because React have its own synthetic events. So all the event handlers that you create, they are nothing but instance of this synthetic events. So what is synthetic? That means it's an artificially made. So it is your DOM and your React. So DOM has its own like events on click, correct? Uh, whenever we are writing any uh, for any on click event, so basically what we are doing, we are just writing on click everything in lowercase and our function, function name, whatever uh, the name of a function is, right? And we just usually call the function like this. But in React, it's totally different. So what React does it? It just adds uh, another synthetic event so in the uh, behind the scenes we really don't know what react is doing but behind the scenes what react does is it takes the same event modifies it and gives it its own in a camel case so react's events are always in camel case it can be on click see on click capture on blur there are multiple if you just see scroll down the list you can see there are n number of uh, events that we have which react gives you and all of these events are basically coming from dom where react just modifies it and gives you a new one and why does it do that because see every browser has its, has its own way of handling the events and react does not want you to go and learn each and every kind of thing so it just what it does is it just creates a layer well irrespective of whatever browser you're using it will just keep it sticking you don't have to like remember anything it would be a simple uh, react on click so this would be a kind of event 
The second rule, so this was the first rule that all the events that you write in React should be in camel case rather than in lower case. First rule, only two rules, right? So, and the second rule out of this is you are not going to call a function like this. We are using ES6 JavaScript, right? And that's the reason we are always going to write uh, all the methods in curly braces and directly the name of the function. So if I'm having a function name, I'm directly going to call it. Okay. So this is the way you usually call a click event. So right now we are just uh, testing a click event, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, how do we write a function? Const. Okay. Let's call this as say hello. Just some meaningful, meaningful name. I say say hello. Round put brackets arrow function and this is the way you write a simple react function es6 function basically and how do we write whenever we are using this let's say that we write a console console.log hello simple there's a click event there's a say hello and uh, sorry there's a click click this is a component click event is a component you can write any name so let's not get confused here we are creating a click that's the reason we are writing an click event as a component. So this is our component. Say hello is a method and we are calling this method on click. Let's go ahead, open our console. Let me just stick it over here and snap console for us to see whenever we click this. Hello. It's this easy, right? So this is how we simply write and click event. But is it compulsory to write an event on a button? No, we can write a div and let's say a div. Let's say that I have a message that click me to see a message, right? It's nothing but a simple div. If you just inspect it, it's nothing but a div. What will happen if I click this? See, it is still working. That means all the events that you can see, it's not only works for your normal uh, div buttons, but all the events can work on any kind of element. This is another point to remember. Here we are directly giving the name of the function. We are not basically calling it. So this is a function call. If you see this, if we are adding a round bracket, that means you're directly calling the function. You're not uh, using the event. You're not making the use of the event. It's directly giving a call of the function. So to see that, let me just refresh it. See, I have not clicked it. Refresh and it is automatically getting called. So your hello is automatically getting called before even I do a click. And that's that will not work basically. So you should never use round brackets while calling this function. We are going to see how we are going to call this with round brackets, but in our next video. Okay. But for now to remember and to make it easy, events are written in this manner. But let's, let's say that uh, we'll, we'll just have another one on double click another event. So you can also have like, if I click it once, it will not happen anything. If I click doubles, that will work. So there are multiple events, all the events that you see in JavaScript or in your basic HTML5, you can use the same events, but with a camel case. I hope this was making sense. I hope this uh, tutorial was interesting for you. And please give us a like and write in the comments that what you want to see uh, more into these videos. Please give us a thumbs. Thank you. Keep learning.